was really inspired um, to write Summer I Turned Pretty by just thinking back to all the summers that I would go um, to Myrtle Beach and um, to Myrtle Beach and to Nag Fed with my family growing up. And we used to go, it would be like six families all together and we'd stay in like in one small house. But as we got older, it was like different than as kids when you would just be like catching sand crabs all day in the beach. And then, you know, there's like little romances going on that the parents don't know about. In the summer I turned pretty, there's obviously a lot of romance. Um, for me, I think I would say that I had a lot of false start um, kind of summer romance that actually sort of dissipated by the time school started again. So for me, unlike Belly, I never had um, a grand summer romance. So a lot of my devoted readers have been emailing me asking me what happens next and one of them got very angry when I said, you know, I can't tell you that much because it's a sequel and I want you to be surprised and she was right me back and said, you know, it's not fair and you should um, give in to the reader. So I'm going to give in to you and say that in the second book, Belly does a lot of growing up. She has been through a lot over the school year and she's now figuring out how to live a summer that's not in Cousins. So book two does not take place in Cousins. I guess what I'd want people to take away from Summer I Turned Pretty is that there's always going to be a moment in time when things start to change, things start to happen, and um, instead of being scared, you should just go with it and um, enjoy it and let yourself have fun.